Tech Tips and Tricks for Everyday Life Welcome TP Tech Prior. Technology has quickly become an integral component of our everyday life. We are all immersed in a sea of technologically advanced appliances and apparatuses. As a result of the coronavirus outbreak, a significant number of employees are working from home. Even though doing so may bring about certain technological difficulties, some people put in a lot of effort and spend a lot of time doing something. That can be done in a simpler method to save them time, but they insist on doing it the hard way. When it comes to technology, there are many different ways to complete tasks, more quickly and simply than there are traditional methods. In this video, we will discuss about tech tips and tricks for everyday life. It makes no difference how proficient you are in using the application or how well you know the system. There are always going to be some workarounds or shortcuts that we aren't going to learn or become comfortable with. Here are some helpful hints on technology that you can use in your daily life. Number 7. Generate unique Wi-Fi passwords for each of your guests. If you're sick and tired of having to change the password to your Wi-Fi network, every time you show it to a new visitor, it's time you did it the smart way. Through the use of QIFI.org, you can generate a QR code. That will allow you to access your Wi-Fi network without entering a password. Entering the name of your network and your password is all that is required of you. When you have the QR code, all that is required to share it with others, so that they may access your Wi-Fi network is to print it out and hand it to them to scan. Number 6. Use Google Translate to perform the final proofreading of lengthy essays. Google is your best buddy if you're stuck trying to locate someone to proofread your work and you're either a student or a content writer. It might be challenging to see flaws in your work once you've spent a significant amount of time creating it. You are fortunate in that you can rely on your ears rather than your eyes. Simply cut and paste the text you want to translate into the Google Translate box, then click the Listen button to hear the translation. It will read the full document out loud to you. Number 5. If you want to read ebooks, don't buy them, borrow them instead. The best feature about ebooks is that you won't ever need to worry about forgetting to pack them. They are always accessible on the various devices you use. If, on the other hand, the idea of maintaining an ebook collection on your device is the furthest thing from your mind, you might want to think about renting ebooks to read rather than purchasing them. Overdrive is a platform that assists you in locating your local library so that you can borrow the books you desire. In addition to that, they also have specialized applications such as Sora for students and Libby for everyone else. You can begin using these apps on your mobile devices right away. If you need to borrow a specific book for a project or even if you just want to read anything for the first time. In addition, given that it is an online platform, all of your books will be returned to you on the date that they are overdue. You won't ever have to worry about the late charge if you do it this way. Despite this, there is always the option to renew it if you haven't completed it yet. If you want to watch more videos like this, kindly like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Number 4. If you would rather speak than write, you will save time. Take advantage of the voice typing function whenever you're pressed, for time or dealing with an injury that makes typing tough for you. It can be accessed through Google Docs in addition to Microsoft Word. Simply choose the dictation option from the home menu in Word to activate this feature, or press the Windows key in conjunction with the letter H to bring up the dictation toolbar. You can begin dictating the text by clicking on the microphone that is located there. You must clearly state any punctuation that you want to enter. The same principle applies to Google Docs. You can use your voice to type by going to the Tools menu and selecting the option there. After that, all you need to do is press the button next to the microphone, and you'll be ready to begin. Number 3. Transform an old mobile device into new tools you can use. You should probably think twice before getting rid of your old phone, by throwing it away or selling it for a low price just because you don't use it anymore. You won't believe the things you can make with it, but there are a couple of things you can make with it. Take, for instance. Downloading the app Universal TV Remote Control onto an older phone enables it to function as a TV remote control. Put your primary phone somewhere else in the morning and use this as an alarm clock instead of your primary phone. 
You won't have to waste time checking your phone first thing in the morning because it will help you wake up on time. Installing the app Alfred CCTV Camera for Home will turn it into a camera that can be used for monitoring your home. Nevertheless, you should make certain that the phone is placed in an area where it may continue to have its charging cable hooked into it at all times. Convert it into a dashboard camera. The Droid Dashcam app only requires that you download it, activate it, buy a mount, attach your phone to the dashboard using the mount, and plug it up with a power supply. After that, you are good to go. Number two, refine your search on Google. Simply using a negative sign will allow you to exclude some search results from the websites you visit when conducting research. It will be placed directly in front of the word from the search results that you do not want to have displayed. When you search the term time management, for instance, you will get these results with Wikipedia at the top of the list. On the other hand, if you search for time management Wikipedia, you will receive a completely different set of results. Number one, hum to yourself to find a song. Have you ever found yourself in a bizarre circumstance when music won't leave your brain, but you have no idea what the name of the song is? To put a stop to this frustration once and for all, today is the day. You may find out the name of a song just by humming it into the Madomi app, which is available for iOS and Android. Simply go to the website, select the button that asks you to identify the song you're humming, and then start singing along. When you are finished, press the button that was used to start listening to begin the search process. It will immediately display all of the matches that it has found for you. So this is the end of our today's video. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.